and welcome to the next installment of Homestead Scientific. Today we are going to be exploring the MSDS sheet and percent contents of ingredient lists. The first thing I want to do is explain to you a little about the MSDS sheet and what it does. The MSDS sheet is used to show you percent contents of chemicals that are contained within certain items and their health effects to the human body and how it can be taken in. If you look at this sample sheet for MSDS, you will see that it is split into multiple sections. The first section explains what the chemicals are in the product and what the maximum amount of each chemical you can legally be exposed to. The next portion says, is this product a fire hazard or an explosion hazard? And the next section says, how does it enter your body and how can it affect your health in short term and the long term? These sections are handy if you want to know if a chemical you are working with is safe for you to be using in the lab or if you need to take special precautions if you do want to work with it. In this particular area, we are going to be looking at what chemicals are in the product so you can find out if something contains enough of a particular chemical for you to work with it in your lab. The first chemical we are going to look at is going to be trisodium phosphate the phosphate free version. Uh, there are two versions, there's trisodium phosphate and then there's trisodium phosphate PF which is phosphate free. Regular TSP is difficult to get in contact with now because phosphates are a lot more controlled due to its environmental impact. The first thing we're going to look at is the back of the TSP box. If we look at the back of the TSP box it says down by the ingredients, warning, contains sodium carbonate, sodium metasilicate, and EDTA. If you look at the list, everything that it contains is in order of percent content. The first item in the list is always the most that it contains and so on down the list. The last thing in the list it contains the least of. So in this particular instance, sodium carbonate is the most followed by sodium metasilicate and then EDTA. We don't know the percent content, just that that is the most that it contains. So if we go to the MSDS for this particular item, and we check it, and we see what it says, it says that it contains 90 to 95 percent sodium sesquicarbonate, which would be the sodium carbonate that we looked at, and then 0 to 5 percent sodium metasilicate. The sodium metasilicate is the product of reacting the phosphorus out of TSP and you're left with sodium metasilicate. Sodium sesquicarbonate is a combination of sodium bicarbonate and sodium carbonate. In this particular instance we are going to want the sodium metasilicate because it can be used to make phosphoric acid with hydrochloric acid which makes it very useful. The next thing on our list we're going to look at is wood bleach which contains oxalic acid Oxalic acid can be used in a number of reactions and experiments and is very useful in such as iron oxalate which can be used to make pyrophoric iron on uh, a number of different reactions. Uh, so if we look at the MSDS on this we can see that it contains 95 to 100 percent oxalic acid. Now that we've had some practice looking at the ingredients list and using an MSDS to determine percent content, we are going to try and track down a chemical called methylene chloride, which is a very useful solvent to be distilled from paint stripper. There are various types of paint strippers and they all have different percent contents of methylene chloride in them. So we are going to look at three different kinds and determine which one will have the highest percent content first one we are going to look at is going to be Strippy's Stripper. Um, if we look at the back of it, it says that it contains acetone, toluene, methanol, petroleum distillates, and methylene chloride is the last ingredient. Following what we learned about ingredient lists, methylene chloride being last means that it has a very small amount compared to the rest of the volume of items. So, we move on to the next one, which would be Super Strip Stripper. If we look at the back, we can see that it contains toluene, methanol, and methylene chloride. Now, since there are less ingredients in this than there were in the last one, the percents will be higher 
but seeing as the methylene chloride is last again, we are not going to want this. So we move on to the final one. The final one being some strip, stripper. If we read the contents of this one, it's methylene chloride, methanol, ethyl benzene, and xylene. Methyl the methylene chloride being first, we know that that is going to have the highest percent content of all of the items in the container. So we know that this is going to be the one that we want. So then we go and we turn to our MSDS sheet for the Sunstrip Stripper. And the Sunstrip Stripper says that it contains 52.86% methylene chloride by weight. So we know that this is going to be the one that we want. It'll give us a good yield if we distill it, and it's a very useful chemical. So, I hope this has been very useful to you in trying to figure out what things have chemicals that you can use in them and how much. Always keep your eye out when you're in the store for chemicals and bottles that you may never have seen before, because you always want to check on the labeling, because you never know what something might contain. Alright, thanks!